Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will talk about calibration plot and lift curve. Before uh, we go into examples, uh, let me just explain uh, each uh, plot uh, what it exactly does. So the first one is uh, calibration plot. Cal calibration plot it shows the match between the classifier probability uh, prediction and the actual class probability. So this is the calibration plot. As for the lift curve we have two diagrams uh, to show the first one is the uh, lift curve that shows the uh, curves for analyzing the proportion of the true positive data instances in relation to the classifiers threshold this is the first one the second one is cumulative uh, gains uh, chart which shows the uh, proportion of the true positive instances as a function of the number of positive instances so let's uh, show you how we're gonna uh, show these two plots. I'm gonna use um, the file widget and uh, from file widget, I will choose the iris data set. And the uh, last uh, feature is target actually. So this is the first one. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, use sampling uh, data sampler. And from data sampler, I'm gonna use 80%, 80% uh, for uh, training and the remaining 20% for testing and I gonna uh, connect this to test and score but with this one I need to do two things data sampler goes to data remaining data goes to test data set and from here I gonna choose test uh, on test data okay this is the first setup <clears throat> so we done it in a proper way and I'm gonna use different algorithms. Let's say I'm gonna use um, logistic regression first. Then I will use um, tree. Uh, then we can use also um, random forest. Also, we can use the fourth one, um, v, uh, uh, v, S, v SVM. SVM. SVM as just an example so <clears throat> these are the uh, the four uh, models that we will use for classification okay and from here you can see the different uh, measures for uh, area under care classification accuracy etc etc for all these algorithms okay so <clears throat> now uh, let's first uh, show the uh, confusion matrix this is the confusion matrix as you can see this is the confusion matrix now we will connect to uh, area under curve or rock rock analysis this is the rock analysis per each class as you can see we can see uh, each each one okay as per each class, Virginica versus Versicolor versus Stoza. Okay, we can select them all. This is the first one, and we will see now calibration plot. Calibration plot, and this is the calibration plot. So we have Stoza uh, against all these uh, models, and we can go to Versicolor, see how the graph changed and uh, virginica and these are the virginica and this is for calibration blot okay as for the lift we will connect to lift lift curve okay and in lift curve you can see that these are the classes so we can select any of these uh, targets okay and per each per each um, uh, model that we have then uh, we can uh, browse between lift curve and cumulative gains so this is the cumulative gains uh, as you can see per each per each class per each class so this is this is uh, what is uh, going on with these two diagrams the very important diagrams the calibration plot and lift curve along with the rock and confusion matrix so this is how you show both calibration plot and lift curve so the lesson for today uh, uh, finished so uh, we'll see you in uh, our next lesson uh, till then uh, enjoy orange data mining